I had to do it. I was feared I got punished. Some children aren't just at risk from the people they live with, they're vulnerable targets when they leave their homes. Out in the community, female sexual abusers can maneuver with even more ease than men into positions of trust with authority over lots of children. Dawn Reed and Christopher Lilly work together as qualified teachers at a nursery in Newcastle. About 120 two to four year olds passed through their classes. Their mothers suspected nothing. We really liked her. She just came across really as a nice person, always laughing and smiling and wanting to talk to you. And it just made us feel at ease. It took two years for trusting parents to find out that children were being repeatedly sexually abused at the nursery. Lillian Reed were never tried in court making the parents determined to stand up in public and draw attention to the abuse. My daughter was sitting at the, the lunch table and she said she didn't want her, her lunch, so Dawn I got a knife and fork and took my daughter to the, the toilet, in the, which was in the classroom, and sat her on the floor and inserted the knife and fork into her vagina and um, Chris was there and they were both laughing. And what did your daughter tell you about that, about well, how she felt? And she said it had hurt and there was um, blood and that they had to get a towel when, when she got washed and the towel had blood on. But, but they seem to have done it a few times. This child was one of more than 20 others who went on to tell their mothers what Dawn Reed had done to them. At first, they couldn't grasp what they were hearing. I'm angry with her. I couldn't understand where she was coming from when she was doing this to the children. I... Tell me about that. He was just like taking pictures of the like when we them when we were being nasty to her and everything. I was like crying, just a lot of upset, upset, and like screaming and saying that I want to go back to the nursery. I want my mum and everything, and they wouldn't. Be taking notes or be laughing at what? When you had to join in with them, what did you have to do? I can remember when Chris put his um, private into mine. And what was Dawn doing while Chris was doing this? Looking at the other children, being rude to the other children. She was being rude to the other children? Yeah. What was she doing to the other children? Making them like lift the dresses up and that and take her clothes off. Medically there was tearing of the tissues, bleeding trauma, extensive damage to the hymen. Um, she has since underwent STD testing for sexually transmitted diseases. She has also had an HIV test. Dawn Reed and Christopher Lilly were never brought to justice because the judge thought the child witnesses too young to be heard in court. There was an outcry on behalf of the children. The parents formed a protest group to support each other and publicised fully Reed and Lily's abuse. Some children are still showing signs of trauma. She was always trying to like play with herself and I used to think, oh, well, it's just like what children do. I did ask the health visitor a couple of times and she said, oh, she's just exploring her own body, she's fine, a lot of children do this. But as she started to get older, it didn't just settle with her. I've had a lot of counselling about it because I've got a fear that she'll grow up to be an abuser herself. What the, the therapist and everything have said is a child that comes from a loving home who has been abused doesn't necessarily go on to be an abuser. But that's not to say it can't happen. The Sexual Abuse Child Consultancy Service 
is one of the few organizations attempting to break this cycle. In specially designed rooms, long-term play therapy helps children explore feelings and relationships. I'm safe now. Right, you're all right. Tell me yep. yep. Half the children who pass through here have been abused by a woman, like this 10-year-old boy. I don't know what's going to happen now. His abusers were involved in a lesbian relationship, and he was also abused by men too. So actually he's quite a confused little boy, uh, which is shown very often in his play, uh, where he doesn't really know whether he's a woman or whether he's a man. There we are. Show that. It's oh. a beautiful dress. Is that beautiful? Is that diamonds on it? Yeah. It's very expensive. You're very rich, then, you and your wife, aren't you? Are the shoes. Uh -huh. Oh. Beautiful. beautiful. The other button came off. So oh, dear. Oh, dear. They're nice shoes, aren't they? Oh, beautiful. Mm. Well, that looks like an engagement ring to me. You're not yeah. engaged, are you? Oh. 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 oh, it's very rough. He was out of control. Sometimes he'd be physically violent, and sometimes that would develop then into um, spitting, sometimes weeing in the playrooms, sometimes weeing over the, the therapists. Um, and he was also highly eroticized, both with adults and with the other children, which meant uh, that um, he would be, uh, there would be a lot of sexual wriggling he'd get his, his penis out and, and wave it around, that kind of uh, sexualized stuff, and uh, trying to do very sexy kisses with, with other children and with staff. Oh, I hear Baba. I had a baby, yeah. It's a baby. It's mine. It's your baby. It's your baby. Oh, when did you have a baby? I had it last night. Did you? Mm. Oh. Yeah, look at it. It's Don't hug me, please. Oh, sorry. I'm at work tonight, sweetheart. Aww. Aww. I'm at work. Aww. Did you kiss that baby on the mouth? Yeah. I'm allowed. I don't think it's proper for you to kiss the no. baby on the mouth. He understands about nice kissing and safe kissing, but when he was holding the baby, uh, clearly the, the, the kissing started to get very unsafe and he was looking to me to, to ensure that I had understood that the kissing was unsafe. So an issue for him is kissing, unsafe kissing with babies, which of course was his experience. Hello. 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 Some of them become eternal victims and never c recover from that. Other children, like this little boy, will mask the confusions and grow into adulthood and never really be able to sustain relationships or have very distorted relationships because of their enormous confusions. And there are other children who will go on to hurt not only other children in their own childhood, but in adulthood too. It's thought more than a quarter of a million people in this country have been abused as children by women. While not everyone who's been harmed goes on to abuse, it's thought about 5% do. So what is it that makes them do it and others not? Women in our society have been portrayed as victims. And yes, I'm not disputing that nearly all the women who sexually abuse children in my research were themselves very victimized. But somewhere within their victimization, they learnt that to abuse children gave them sense of power, control, agency that they'd not had in any other area of their life. And therefore, um, they used the abuse of children to gain those things. The natural compulsion of a mother to love and protect her child can be destroyed by years of abuse. One such woman who went on to abuse claims she saw her baby as a mere object. I was about 22, I'd just divorced my husband. My sons, one was two and one was a baby in arms. And the eldest son, I changed his nappy and masturbated him once. I felt sick at what I was doing. 
I felt angry at what I was doing. I didn't do it for pleasure. It was more for anger for what my brothers and my dad had done to me. And it was a day when... It was the day I'd just finished decorating my bedroom with my eldest brother. And he had sexually abused me. And I was so angry at what he'd done. That the anger came out by masturbating my son. What effect has what you did consequently had on your sons? Both my sons are sexual abusers. My eldest son is in prison now for what he's done. What has he done? Sexually abused a nine-year-old boy. Do you feel responsible for the way he's Badly turned out? Nice. Badly. Why is that? Because if I hadn't done what I had done, he wouldn't be like he is now. Zoe was jailed for four years on three counts of indecent assault. While she was in prison, she was ostracized, but not treated. Now she's back in the community and still considered a risk to children. There's very, very little being done to look at the issue of female sexual abuse. We have no programmes in this country that are aimed at working with female sexual offenders specifically. Quite a lot of professionals are picking up women offenders now. What they're not doing is having the resources to help them deal with these women offenders. It's because so many professionals are now picking up women offenders that we're actually getting to realise some of the extent of the problem throughout the country. Few abusers ever volunteer their guilt, and behind closed doors, it's difficult to prove. A woman's traditional role in the home as a mother often puts her above suspicion, and medical evidence is hard to obtain. But as more and more of women's victims come forward and speak out, they may just force us to face up to the ultimate taboo.